Hi guys, I'm Jim and this is Jim's Fix-It Shop and today we're going to show you how to take off and put on the belt on the mower deck. Right now we're just tearing this thing apart so I'm just going to show you how to get it off. And to put it on it's just the same process only backwards. To tighten the belt, I'll have to show you how to tighten it. So let's get started getting it off anyway. Maybe we'll have to put the old one right back on. Let me spin the camera around and try to get you aimed in the right direction. Okay, now we got it pointed in here. This is the mower deck. I got the plastic cover off of it already. This is a large pulley on top of the spindle. This is your idler pulley. And you're going to need a 9 16 wrench and socket. The back of this idler pulley has a, a self-locking nut on it and you're going to have to wrench it off pretty much all the way. But basically all you got to do is get it loose enough to slide this stop out of the way. Turn this a little, I don't know if you can see it. Right back here there's a piece of metal that sticks up and on the other side of this big pulley there's one. I vibrate you over here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Now yeah, I don't think you can. But it sticks up on the side of the pulley. What them are for is when you put this thing in neutral and the engine's still running, it keeps the belt from popping off on you. That's all they got them on there for and, and it'll be a nuisance when you try to change the belt. Loosen this up. You should be able to slide that thing. Maybe not. I might have to take it completely off. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to. Mine has a slot in it. So once you break the bolt loose, you can slide this over so you can get the belt out of that crack. This one doesn't, so you're going to have to take the whole thing off. Now the little stop on the other side of the large pulley, let me spin it around and show it to you. <coughs> here it is sticking up right here. Now this one, <coughs> it's long enough where it flexes enough with your thumb that you can pop that belt out of there and it comes off. Now if we can spin around and get down to the bottom we'll show you what the bottom looks like. Okay now we're on the bottom. This is your drive disc. The pulley for the belt is behind the drive disc. And here again, let me see if I can move this. Right here is a bar. That bar keeps the belt pinched just enough so it doesn't pop off over the drive disc, but it leaves it loose enough where the engine can spin without hurting the belt. Now I got this over in fifth gear so you can see better but you don't really want it in fifth when you try to get that belt off. I'll put my little pliers on this so I can get it neutral. That'll help. You just pull the belt off around. You're going to have to work it between the drive disc and the clutch disc and you should be able to hopefully just pull that thing out of here and that's about it. Okay we got this belt off but this one has got a serious twist in it. Sometimes what happens is the idler pulley we took off first they call them a backbreaker. 
and belts aren't really made to be bent backwards and sometimes I don't know why and this one did it this one's starting to delaminate you can see the uh, material starting to come off on the belt so I'm not going to put this one back on when I send it back to the customer but once in a while what will happen is this belt will take a half a twist on one end and it'll run that way and that's normally what tears these belts up and makes them delaminate is when they get a twist in them like that you don't know it uh, it doesn't make any noise it still runs okay but it will break the belt down and uh, it'll make the belt fail a lot faster now I'm gonna put this belt back on I'm gonna tip this thing down and show you how to tighten the belt if it needs to be tightened so uh, let me throw this back on I'll be here in a minute well, I guess I might as well show you putting the belt back on get to top just drop it right down through this hole and you can see the the bottom pulley just lay it on top of it and then we're gonna turn this around If I can do this without getting in your way we're gonna stick the pulley or the belt through that wire that holds it on loop it around the pulley and you gotta push that clutch in again Sometimes it's a job getting it on there. Now when we pull the top up, that should hook on the pulley the way it's supposed to. Okay, here's the top pulley. We're going to pull this up. We're going to work it underneath that tab. And it pretty much hooked itself right where it belongs. Turn this thing around again and we're going to put this idler back on now there's two holes in this arm this is what tightens your belt you can see that moving that's what tightens your belt when you pull your handle up now there's two holes in that arm the bolt goes in one and this little tab goes in the other one once you hook that around the belt and just tighten it back up That's it. It's on. We got the other back on. Now I'm going to spin it around and lay it on the floor and I'll show you how to tighten a belt if it would need tightening. This one shouldn't. We put the same one right back on. Okay, we got her tipped down. The belt's on. The idler's back in place or the back breaker, whatever you want to call them. And we're going to put it we're going to put the mower deck in gear or engage it and we're going to hold this pedal down with my knee now you want to measure between the two belts where it comes around the idler and comes back from the pulley this one measures about an inch and a sixteenth that's pretty darn good they recommend an inch a gap between these two now if you have to adjust it 
Uh, I guess you can see that from this point. Right here is a clamp that clamps around this tube. This is what it looks like. Kind of reminds you of a muffler clamp. Clamps around the tube and this hollow part goes around this piece of steel. Just hooks on there like that. That way it's captured on the front and the back with this piece of steel so it can't move once you tighten it onto this tube. So if you want to tighten this belt a little bit, you would loosen the nut and bolt on this clamp and you just pull this tube out. This will slide right in and out as long as your plastic bushings that are up in this tube aren't froze up on this pipe. You can check that by when you have it standed up. You should be able to grab the two front tires and twist them back and forth. That will twist this pipe. If it turns, you're good. If it don't, then you got other issues. I did remove the seat so you could see a little better. And this is the wire for the seat safety switch, which mine don't have. It's too old. So that's about it in this video. So that's about in this video. I'm going fast because I'm really trying to keep these short. They're supposed to be a mini series. But if you miss something or if yours is a little bit different, take some pictures of them, send it to me, and I'll let you know what to do to get that belt off. Or if your belt broke and fell off and you don't know how to get a new one on, let me know. I'll show you how to do it. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the description below. Or send me an email to jimsfixitshop at gmail.com and I'll be more than happy to answer you. I got like six or seven I got to do tonight. And... Uh, the next video is going to be on removing the mower deck. I'm going to show you how to do that. So until next time, work safe, have fun, and uh, get that 